hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can install postgres on windows and how you can use psql command from windows so let's get started with this video hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update so guys first of all you have to download postgres sql from the official website i've already installed I won't be showing you again how to install but instead I will show you how you can use psql like you must be facing the problem which I am facing right now let's let me just show you the problem here when I try to open psql command it says not recognized as an internal command or external command so for this what you have to do is I have already installed let me just go to the path where I have installed my postgres you can see here i have installed my postgres here this is postgres 15 and you can see the bin folder here so i want to just run psql command which i will be using to import and export my database so first of all what you have to do is after installation you will be able to see your your folder bin folder here and once you can see this folder what you have to do is you have to go to the properties of your computer and then go to advanced setting and here you will able to see environment variables so environment variables you can see here and here you can see system variables so here what you have to do is you have to go to the path variable you can see and the values are here you can see so you have to just click on edit and here in this way you have to just paste the path let me just show you so I'll just paste the path of this so first of all you have to go to your bin folder just copy the path here and just paste the path if, if the data is already there I mean the values is already there you have to put a semicolon after semicolon you have to put like this and just, just enter ok and ok so guys that's all you can see here I can run my psql command now and let me just show you now it's asking me for password here so I don't remember exactly my password so guys now it is not throwing error so in this way you can you know fix this problem that's all in today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching this video and bye for now